People were just really frustrated with the fact that they couldn't win punish things, like you just said with Terry. And Game Watch and Terry share this, and I think they're the two characters that most teach you how to play Ultimate because you cannot overextend one bit or else you're gonna eat a lot of percent. I agree. Maybe Palutena as well. I, yes. I think Palutena <laughs> fits into that category as well. But yeah, they're the characters that really teach you how to, you know, properly recognize when you can commit to options and when you cannot. All right. Here we go, everybody. Game one of winner semifinals. Let's go, two. Let's go, everybody. So it seems that Mustaine is actually eating a lot of percent. You know, the fact that he has been so prominent in online tournaments also means that people have devised some interesting strategies around him. And we see Horkroy applying some great strategies right here. You know, first of all, you have to run. You have to prevent yourself from getting hit with the crack shoot and the jab jab power down. Of course, that's two of the main options that Mustaine has at his advantage with Terry. And of course, now that the go is on deck, that's even more dangerous. The go will take your stocks away like it's nothing. Yeah, and, and Senior Horhoi is basically just playing keep away right now. Like, keep your go meter away from me, man. <laughs> oh, he dropped oh, it. Oh, no. Actually, I'm kind of surprised he didn't go for the Buster Wolf. I know he has some confirms into that with the jabs, but he just wanted to wait. And there's the side B. No stock quit yet. But you know what's coming. Oh, the, the go was coming. The power gazer was coming. But the grenade saving her. her. Oh, my God. You just avoided that. Okay? Big Buster Wolf. That's going to do it. And after all that stalling, Masane still taking the first stock. Yeah, and now... Senior Girl Hori has got to really avoid such a power geyser in his face. The grenade dropper is Nikita. I, you know, the more that go is on deck, the more the pressure builds up because you just know that that percent is gonna grow really, really fast. Just like that. That's the first one of probably like two or three that Mustaine would have to land to take the stock, but those grenades. Coming in so clutch for Mas for Horror right now takes the donkey kick, but I would also like to point out that Masina is no Shield stranger punch, to Shield punch, in Monterrey! Oh my god, that's it for the stop. Oh man! Masina got off the angel platform and put him in check. Oh, I like that aggression from Horror, but just not enough damage on Mustaine to get that fair. I know about you, uh, Toon, but Snake Fair Spikes are among my favorite. That's why I love watching Havoc. The SoCal Snake. Uh, sorry, could you say the name again? Oh, uh, Havoc. He's a SoCal. Havoc. Yeah, he's a SoCal Snake. He posts clips on Twitter all the time. All right, I'll be sure to check the to check him out because I did not I not heard of that tag either, but. Well, you know, I, I trust your Kateri on, on Good Smash mains. Sorry, on Good Snake mains. And, and of course, you're seeing the power of the Mexican players right here. And again, Horkoroi has been on the come-up. So to see him come this far is really quite something. But of course, Mustaine is Mustaine. And he's going to take it with another Power Gazer, almost getting a two-frame. Wow. Oof. What okay. seemed like a very even battle slowly snowballed into an avalanche in favor of Mustaine. He rode that avalanche like he rides the cancelable power dunk and uh, rode that wave to victory in game one. Quint is so sad about yeah. Rockman being out. <laughs> uh, Rockman's sick, but I mean, he just ran into some really hard competition. Everybody in this bracket's a killer, so... What can you do? Elsewhere, it looks like Nalga is up 2-0 on Blazicus, and Tato and Cobra are one all in their match in Losers Round 2. Meanwhile, um... Oh, H4DS just completed the sweep on Rusen. He'll be waiting the winner of this match in, uh, Winner's Finals, which will be carrying next on stream. Here we go, game two. Yes, this is gonna be game two, but I, I was just about to tell you about the score, but yeah, you're right. You got it. And Battlefield, 
Uh, Interesting set, choice. I have, now, I have seen Mustine play a lot of sets and, and matches on Battlefield, so really I don't think there's a single stage where he feels totally uncomfortable if he doesn't manage it. Uh, Battlefield, of course, being a solid counterpick for Horhoi, but those platforms, man, give Terry the go, and those platforms are a nightmare. They're already kind of hard to play around in Ultimate. Oh! And now with the go and the power gates to catch those landings, it's exactly this that you just saw. Uh, Horhoi using the B-reverse to get a dodge. And that's stock number one. Oh, what I appreciate for <laughs> one right. of many. I was okay. So Orko actually doing getting some solid work with this. Uh, I guess the reason why he also likes this stage is because he can leave a grenade in two of those platforms, and the rest of the stage he can just control with up smashes and stuff. And we saw already how good he is at juggling with those up smashes and all the resources that he has to his advantage. So yeah, just go with that philosophy. Orko is doing good so far. Look at this trap sequence from Horhori. But all Mustang needs is one open window. He puts 40 on him. Oh, he's catching so many of those landings. You know, once more, that's the thing. The landings for Mexican players in general, now I'm kind of starting to realize, are a really big area of opportunity to fix because they constantly eat up a lot of percent whenever they just stall it out in the air and the juggle situations get out of hand. Uh, of course, Mustine kind of appreciates to get some of that damage onto him, onto himself because the go is just around the corner and we know all those turtles that he gets access to, especially the Buster Wolf here because Horhoroi seems to be playing at a distance and when he lands on the latch, that Buster Wolf is going to be so important! Wow. Not going anywhere, though. Horhoi takes his sweet time. And there's the go! Oh no, oh no, the pressure! There's the jab, jab, power dunk. Not even needing to go for the go. Valga la redundancia. And of course, the donkey kick. I mean, I think we're seeing some patterns here. That donkey kick from Horhoi has taken so many sucks in oh, this the tournament. Shield break. In general, another one of those! Is that gonna do it, though? I don't no, know. no. But yeah. it puts Horrori at 70, which is really bad. Oh, and Mustaine, he has gone for that option a few times, the power wave to get the stage spike. Doesn't quite work out most of the time, however. It's more like a Hail Mary, see if this one actually will land. Look, look at the patience from Mustaine to wait out that sequence. Oh! Ooh. Big fist! <gasps> People go, no way! He landed on the C4! Oh man, wow, he... what a call out by Horhoi in a setup, man. Right? Yes, totally Two steps forget. ahead. Mustaine totally forgetting where that C4 was. And just eating up that stock. So sad for him, but hey, more power to Horhoi getting some solid. Uh, you know, resource management. Every set, you guys do better with that. <laughs> Quick, you didn't curse anybody. Don't, don't, don't worry about it. Oh, I think we might be getting a raid shortly, possibly. Let's see. Maybe. Oh, never mind. I was, I was mistaken. Might be a little early on that. Um, but yeah, one all currently. So, do you, uh, Toon, do you think Mustaine's going to be like, oh yeah, let's just go back to Battlefield? Because <laughs> I don't know. We'll see. I wouldn't go back to Battlefield. Uh <laughs> yeah, it, it did seem like he was, you know, taking a lot more time to get some damage onto Arhoi by the end. Um, he really only got to catch landings in the very first stock, but yeah, this this was looking kind of getting kind of bad. But I have yet to see those high comes move, so they're still banning. I would I would assume. But Mustaine does really good in Kalos Pokemon League as well, so I don't know. Perhaps that's available. Yeah, we'll see. <laughs> That's okay, D Danger. Don't worry about it. Hey, the, D Danger. I don't know if you. If you oh, he, he, just somebody in chat. Uh, D Danger. I don't know if you heard Toon talk about it earlier, but Toon's actually a Yoshi main himself. So fellow Yoshi mains, y'all can chat about hey. when y'all can talk about when to use egg roll. I guess, which is almost never. 
<laughs> Side B does not exist in my vocabulary, my man. <laughs> we're talking about strategy dead in gameplay. Oh, there's Kalos Pokemon League, like I said. And yeah, I mean, so when has any Yoshimine used that roll on purpose? I think I saw Mammy go for it once, and I'm still not sure if that was a miss input, but it worked for him somehow. And yeah, do, do not use Side B, man. And also, I would, I would assume by the way this this match started that Mustaine was getting a, was about to get bodied, but really quick making this even so, M M Mustaine really has one of the better Advanced damage states. per second. Yeah, rates. yeah, yeah. That too. Crazy DPS, crazy advantage state. And of course, with that go, it gets even bigger, even better. And I think. The, the reason why Kalos Pokemon League seems to be such a prominent option for him is, of course, the huge space, space he has to run and those platforms with which he can catch people with the go and get those Buster Wolves with no interruption. Massane already off a of stock. And, of course, he's going to sell it out. The neutral there connecting against this up smash. Wow. Another one putting 27 on him. Jesus. Oh, and also, we already saw two shield blades. Yeah. You already know another one might be coming up. Oh, the grenade oh. saved his bacon! Wow, Horror is got me thinking, thinking grenade even more than usual. Whoa! Let's not put 40 on him? Jesus. Grenades keep coming in clutch, but the problem is, once again, Mustaine's advantage state, even though it might be interrupted, doesn't take long to come back to him, so he gets so many chances to win neutral, and wins neutral so many times as well, that really the damage per, per second outweighs any grenade traps that Horkoroi sets up. Oh, but here comes Horkoroi going deep. Oh, man. I like that Nair off stage. Power Duck doesn't have to deal with the up smash. What is up with this? Power Dunk cares about nothing, man. And of course, when you land on that on that shield of your opponent, doesn't matter, you're still plus. You can still jab, jab, and keep them locked up and get those shield breaks, Mustaine. So go with those setups. But of course, the Donkey Kicks. I mean, we already saw Horkoroi going for those enough times. Why not go for it again? If it's done, but it works, it ain't done. <laughs> Finally, some Ooh. intercepts. Power Dunk, I ask you. Wow. Oh boy, he, just, he just forgot that Mustaine had that go. And yeah, you do not want to jump into the air. Horkori getting a little too comfortable over there. And Mustaine with great awareness. Woo wee. <laughs> what do you say to that? Elsewhere, we have um, some of our other top eight matches going on stream. Pineda is taking on Cobra over on the Arcway gaming stream, and Nald and Blaziticus are in game four. So, well done to Blaziticus to make it to top eight. And, uh, Absolutely. Yeah. Ready? All right, here we By go. By the way. Oh, what's up? No, Cobra has the best loser run, I just want to say. Whether he loses or wins, we saw him go down in the very first set, and also if he wins, I think he might. Yeah, he would go against Horkoroi again, so that would be the wrong match. <laughs> oh, people are talking about banjos in chat. Isn't Terra Bear in SoCal as well? Yeah, Terra Bear is a better banjo than C Sharp. Oh, okay. Uh oh, uh oh. You know what's up? Right, you yeah, don't like to good. see it, but. Yeah, yeah, they're gonna keep playing, but yeah, you don't want to see that happen, especially not this far into the tournament. We're in winter semis, and of course, last chance for Horhoi, who also decided to go back to PS2. I, I applaud this decision. By the way, if you don't mind me asking, how many more sets are we gonna see? Oh, we're gonna alert. see a lot, actually. We're gonna uh, do winners finals after this. Hey, thank you so much, the CR Jetstream for the raid. Everybody, if you haven't done so yet, go follow Jetstream. Uh, they are part one of our partners in this coast coast bracket. Thank you, T Sizzle, for dropping the follow. Welcome to the stream. Raid party, let's go. 
Awesome. Thank you for that raid. And of course, oh, big you explosion. came here just, just in time to see game number four. And it seems that Horhoi still has some gas in his tank, trying to take this one back from Mustine, but no success so far. I mean, those Oh, big fair. I big. love oh, that. Oh, man. I oh. thought he was going to steal that away from, from Mustaine. He's just... Mustaine said, I'm going to chase you down. Wherever you are, I'm going to hunt you down. Mustaine woke up today and chose... <gasps> oh, my oh, my God! God! Oh, my God! What <laughs> call out? <laughs> Mustaine's like, this is it. I'm going to try and end it all here. Send this man to losers. He's so hungry for blood. It, I can see it in his eyes, even though he is so far away from me. Mustaine just trying to catch him off guard, and he is doing wonders with that. Poor Heroi, you need to wake up right now, my man. Those resources that you have been using so well, now's the time you need to bring them out again. Oh, Mustaine's in trouble. Oh, he got oh, no. just a ledge. Ooh, just tied recovery oh, perfectly. Could not avoid the back Ooh. hit of down smash, though. Last off situation for both players. Vince, your boy, I appreciate the follow. Welcome to the Pro Fam. You join us in a hectic time. OG Mustaine's trying to shut the door sh shut here on uh, Senior Horhori's run and winners. And it seems like that loser's bracket run is about to start. Hey, shout out to your boy Nobody with the follow as well. Uh, Mustaine, though. Starting to take his time. He knows this game four is in danger. He is in grave danger. He uh -oh. might just oh get, my God. you know, just take him back. back. Still so brave, however, going for those extensions. I don't think they're particularly confident. Mustaine too has started to take this one, you know, to his own zone. Waits for Horhoi to overextend with whatever option he has so he can come in. And of course, we know the go is really close to happening as well to activating. Oh my god. No two frame. Oh, the Cypher so close to giving to give him go. I Senior think Horhoi needs to figure out how to get this. Oh, the go is active now. Oh my god. Oh man. Oh, we'll do that. It's just <laughs> oppressive. Oh, that's it. Yes, that's gonna do it. It was all coming down to Mustine getting the go, and then getting that Buster Wolf. Man. That was academic, man. Hi, T Sizzle. Welcome to the stream. We are currently in winter semis of the Coast to Coast um, Invitational Finale. Yeah, I think uh, Senior Horhor used to need some emotional support bricks, uh, Jeff. <laughs> What a, just an oppressive way. How's your day? Busta Wolf! <laughs> Love to see all the emotes in chat. Keep them coming, everybody. Thank you so much for joining us tonight here in this uh, invitational. Are event. you okay? Oh, I'm going to tell uh, Mustaine to come back. <laughs> I don't know why he left. Because <laughs> we're going we're gonna to do, um, do this match next.